By the age of 30, Pete and his wife had quite the nest egg. What did you guys have in the bank? Um, at the time of retirement, we had it split up with about 600000 of investments and then a house that was paid off. Awesome. The biggest thing, man, is getting that, that house paid off because once that house is paid off, you're solid, you're good to go. And you have investments actually growing faster, you can actually spend the money. Awesome also. And by the way, it's not hard to spend this much money, right? They could have bought that $600,000 house, have crazy taxes and all this stuff, but they chose not to. That's awesome. Hey guys, sign and Bryson here. Welcome to my channel. And you know, usually I know who people are when I make a video about them. However, this time, I genuinely do not know who Mr. Money Mustache Ashley is. However, though, I did have a conversation before with someone said, hey, Tommy, do you know Mr. Money Mustache? And I was like, no, I don't know who that is. But all of a sudden, YouTube went ahead and recommended that person to me. Interesting. You say something out loud, and all of a sudden, you get advertising about that person also. However, though, let's find out exactly together who Mr. Money Mustache actually is and how he managed to retire at age 30. That, to me, is always awesome and wonderful. And by the way, it seems to be like everybody has this magic number in mind. I want to retire by age 30, 30, 30, 30, a million, million, million dollars or whatever it is. Okay, I don't know where that comes from, but I don't really care about it, honestly. I care about fulfillment, enjoyment. Yes, retirement is awesome. Freedom is even better, okay? That's my overall goal here. However, if you guys are new here, I post videos every single day. On top of also, destroy the like button. So make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time I post a new video every day at 6 p.m. Comment down below, guys, and let me know exactly how much money do you think you need for retirement? It's important, you know? You say you might want money, but do you know how much money you're actually going to need? You know, that's also very important. All right, so let's go ahead and watch this video and find out what the heck is going on or who Miss Money Mustache actually is. You're about to meet a young man who retired at the age of 30, not because he made millions, but because he cut back in some radical ways. He's now. All right, so radical ways. I've seen a lot of things, you know, people saving money in toilet paper by using newspapers, people washing themselves over and over with the same water past a few days, people using animal products. I, I've seen radical, so I'm expecting the worst here. Now become a personal finance guru, and here's ABC's Gloria Riviera. Flip on your TV. Frugal and famous. Maybe day or night, and chances are you'll find a financial guru. Hey, I'm Kramer. Telling you. Hey, this is our mad money guy, right? Uh, this guy is all about stocks. This guy was around ever since like Warren has been around. He's been around for a very long what time. What to do with your money. From Susie Orman. Yeah, Susie Orman is like super, super famous as far as this. You thing. are denied. To Jim Cramer. You're making virtually nothing. But part of the game. The experts haven't done what this man did. Retire at age 30. As in never have to work for money again. That is awesome. Let's hear it. My coworkers are a little surprised. They're like, what do you mean retire? Like, you mean <laughs> you're going to take a month off until you run out of money? And I was like, nope, we're done. We have enough money for life. He's we're done. So he has, oh, look at this. He has a, must a mustache and on top of a kid and a, and a wife. That's awesome. You know, I've seen a lot of videos where they don't have that stuff, you know. Um, so it's interesting. It's always interesting to see how people actually retire and what their story actually is. What it's shown me is basically... It doesn't matter if you have kids, no kids, multiple kids, you can still retire early. There's no excuse. Family completely debt free. They live and live well on about 25. It doesn't look like that, right? Like <laughs> when you saw the video of them on the floor, it looked like they like they're almost there. So you're like, are they really living well? But yeah, this family's fine. Five thousand dollars a year. That's awesome. Congratulations. Comfort <laughs> is expensive. Disc yeah. Slight discomfort is cheap. Pete preaches his financial gospel on his popular blog, Mr. Money Mustache, named after a trademark handlebar mustache Ooh, nice. he used to sport. His followers called Mustachians all post on the... Mustachians. I think I would laugh at that, but then I call my audience like the Turtle Squad, so am I Am I better than this Mustachian stuff? So, no, I, I guess not. Site, eager to achieve what he calls financial freedom through bad... City. They can strip... Nice. all this down and suddenly go from like a modest struggling lifestyle to one with a lot of surplus so how that's awesome Respect. how do you do it oh look guys before the mustache oh we get to see the the person behind the mask he and his wife spent their 20s as software engineers make oh there you go software engineers man they make a lot of money Being about one hundred and thirty-four thousand dollars together but they wanted to make a change and start a family 
That's awesome. $130,000 is a lot of money. It was more thinking about freedoms. We thought, well, it would be nice to get through this and be able to. It's funny to think that families can live on $30,000, for example, in the Bronx. Then some families can't even live on $200,000 or $100,000, right? It's all about perspective, not just where you live, because there's always, for example, an expensive area and an area that's less expensive, but then you have to commute there, right? So there's no excuse usually. To step back and focus on kids. But there is a sacrifice that you gotta get out of debt though. By the age of 30, Pete and his wife had quite the nest egg. What did you guys have in the bank? Um, at the time of retirement, we had it split up with about 600,000 of investments and then a house that was paid off. Awesome. The biggest thing, man, is getting that, that house paid off because once that house is paid off, you're solid, you're good to go. And you have investments actually growing faster. You can actually spend the money. Awesome also. And by the way, it's not hard to spend this much money, right? They could have bought that $600,000 house, have crazy taxes and all this stuff, but they chose not to. That's awesome. At the time, it was worth about 200000 How did Pete manage to succeed where so many of us... Look at this. Nice setup. Nice setup. Fail? First, aim to save half of your take-home pay. The more awesome. The more you save, the better it is. This is true. But um, usually 70% of your expenses when you want to pay debt is going to be fine to live on. But if you can live on 50%, even more better. The more you get saved up, the less you need to protect yourself, which means your savings grow even faster. Awesome. And when it comes to your house... Look at this. Look at this. This is like the standard family, right? Um, dad, mom, which usually get a divorce, so half the time, by the way. And mom and dad, which usually get a bankruptcy more often than they do get a divorce. It's more what I know, but these are the facts. Two kids a very big house, and before you know it, you're living paycheck to paycheck. So far, I like this video so much, I'm gonna give it a like right now. I like it so so far. Mr. Money Mustache says, don't buy into the moving on up hype. No, in it's trash. This smaller house, I'm happier than I've ever been in life. You're happier than you've ever been in life. Much happier. Carl, 41, is one of Pete's devoted followers. Nice. Now, thanks to Mr. Money Mustache, he is on the verge of retirement. That's awesome. I love these stories so much. I How love did it. you change your life? We had a house that was about 5,000 square feet. It was a bit ridiculous, I don't know. So the <laughs> ridiculous. first thing I said is uh, we have to downsize it. So how can you... And usually that's not the statement people say, you know, people say, oh, we got a 5,000 square feet house. We got to upgrade. <laughs> you know what I mean? We need better neighbors or whatever, right? I, I'm, I, I love this video. You so retire far. early? For starters, forget financing that fancy... Oh, yes, yes. The four main expenses are going to be housing. If you can pay off your home, boom, that's done. 25% of your income, 35% of your income, basically no more have to worry about that. Transportation is a big one. Groceries, utilities are big ones. But those are the two main ones you can control right there. Housing and transportation. Food, yes, but you want to eat good food and stuff like that also. And you also want to pay your utilities on time. You don't want to, you don't want to get the lights turned off. Car. His is 10 years old. This is my brand new luxury 2005 Scion XA. Yeah. My brand new luxury Scion XA. <laughs> I like this guy a lot. 40 mile per gallon wonder. And yeah, it's probably worth about $6,000 today. You could not nice. possibly have a nicer car than this. <laughs> when it and it goes from A to B. It comes to fancy car. And they have a very nice fridge. Look at this, guys, okay? Fancy fridge, fancy, um, what's it called? What, what are these called? Cabinets? Fancy your kitchen, by the way. Not not bad. Coffee, Mr. Money Mustache says, until you are a millionaire, make your own. Check there you this go. out. Take me. There I am getting my beloved latte on the way to work. That's about $4.50 every... Yeah. But then, you know, people would disagree with this. Like, Ramit Senti said, like, enjoy life. It's just a $4 coffee. Make bigger decisions on investing. But it's also a part of your spending habits. So if you have bad spending habits, usually you're not be able to make the cuts that you actually need to cut. Yes, you can increase your income infinitely, right? But in reality, usually people are going to have a modest income for a while. Cutting is going to be very profitable in the long term. Sacrifice today goes a long way tomorrow when you have a lot more choices to ask. Every make. day, over a year, 260 lattes, $1,170. Over a decade, $11,700. Yeah, yeah, but once you're wealthy and you have like passive income, well, if you can budget for this, it's fine. Like everything is like this, right? Oh my gosh, look, oh my gosh, look at this, guys, look at this, guys. I spent. $15 on Netflix times 12. Oh my gosh, $850. Oh my gosh, my phone bill is $100. Oh my gosh, times 12. Oh my gosh, oh my, you know, like you'll freak out about everything if you do the math that way. But the idea is you want to have passive income. Yes, you want to have a good budget. Yes, and the point is you want to live on less than you spend, 
right? That's all, then, then you make, obviously. That's the overall goal. A lot of it is fine. I, I don't mind this stuff. But the big thing is your spending habits, they have to shift. And when you lit, it's not the, the latte, the latte or whatever. I can't even say that word. But it's the fancy house, the fancy car, the fancy everything, the fancy, fancy, fancy everything. That's the problem. But it gets a lot worse because you could be investing that money. Look, the coffee looks nice. I don't I don't drink coffee. So to me, it looks disgusting, honestly. Just being honest, uh, it just looks like, ah, uh, I don't like it. But um, interesting. All right, cheers. <laughs> what about that gym membership? Now we're getting a tour of the fancy outdoor gym. His gym may be basic, but he reckons mine cost me $6,000 per decade. Per decade. Well, that's not true, right? My gym membership cost me $15 a month, multiplied by um, 50, no, yeah, but by 12, multiplied by 10, it cost me around $1,800 per decade. But then again, I have full equipment. I get to meet very nice people there. I get to have everything I actually need. And it's a lot more convenient. However, when I do go, for example, to Puerto Rico, it'll be $50 times 12. And then the math is going to be right on point to what he's talking about per decade. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so he is right. $50 per month. But the answer is it also depends on what the quality of life you actually want is. Very important. And this is the weight room. You don't need like special pedaling machines or stuff that goes right. like this or stuff that's like, oh, <laughs> you just need pieces of heavy iron. By the way, I, I love working out at the gym, as you guys can see, but I also like the vibes you get there, you know what I'm saying, with people and so on. I but none mind. of this means you are a slave to the dollar. Pete doesn't clip coupons and splurges at an organic grocery store. Nice. Three for a So he's found how he wants to splurge. He's found his way. My way would be like the gym, you know, I don't know what else. <laughs> that's basically dollar? about it. Dollar? That's ridiculously good. Let's get. I know. Three. If you ever throw out food. Three for a dollar. Nice. New York. What was this? Oh, this was in 2015. That's why. <laughs> Today, guys, you can't find no, no, um, no. What's it called? Avocados for, <laughs> for that price. No way, Jose. It's like three for five dollars now. I think you're doing something wrong. His frugal yet fabulous way. I don't like zucchinis. Did I mention that before in another video? I like tomatoes. Big life. Fancy cheeses. You know, like. <laughs> yeah. I love sharp cheddar, bro. Like, the sharper, the better. There is luxury. <laughs> Dark chocolate. Has made Pete a cult hero. You just filled your bags, organic food, healthy food, some luxuries, cheese and chocolate for just 50 bucks. That's not, nice. not bad. From the checkout line to online, Pete practices the mustachian philosophy. Challenge yourself, become stronger, um, become more efficient at everything you do, and money is just one of those things. Nice. And work on your health and your I like this guy a lot, man. This guy is awesome. He stopped posting on YouTube. I was on his YouTube channel, guys. Check this out. He hasn't posted in a while, but he does get, for example, look, he hasn't posted in a while, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But well, he didn't really post that often either, right, to say the least. But what happened to him? Where did he go? Um, videos about personal finance, early retirement, and other stuff. However, let's go on Google, try to find him before this video is over. Yeah, here we go, Mr. Mustache. Um, he hasn't posted in a while how do i find out what's the last time okay latest post was this one right here um 305 and this one was actually uploaded it doesn't say when was the last time it was actually uploaded but there's a link to the youtube channel but in reality yeah i don't think he's uploaded in a while guys so what happened to this guy yeah this was back in oh look no no look at this look at this look at this people are actually commenting here so i don't think it was that long ago honestly so maybe he's still on but he's just doing like his blogging thing. He's not really on this anymore. But interesting, interesting. I, I, I would I would like to see his videos on YouTube. I think it would be very interesting. He has like a lot of value to add, so why not? But let's see you at the end of this video. Your wealth and your knowledge, and uh, just a byproduct of that is that you get a lot a lot richer. It sounds yeah, having very good habits, the side effect is having wealthy, wealthy, wealthy bank accounts, or having very good um eating habits. Side effects is basically having a nicer body, whatever. It's like a life philosophy, not necessarily just a financial philosophy. Oh yeah, you're definitely right. A richer life lived on your own terms. Nice. Initially, I thought he doesn't have a car, but the guy does have a car. He needs organic food. And if you want to eat a Starbucks, you can eat a Starbucks also. For Nightline, Gloria Rivera in Longmont, Colorado. All right, guys. So overall, let's sc scroll down through the comments here. I like reading comments. Better than joining one of those pyramid schemes. <laughs> Um, having a house paid off, uh, yeah, it does do a lot of wonders when your house is fully paid off. Man, if I could have learned all this stuff at, at 17, fact, it's not too late. It's not too late. 
Honestly, no one should hate on them. The corporate world will eat you up and uh oh, uh oh, and <laughs> zero loyalty is one. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the, the big thing is, you know, that's why it's so important. The job you do, it has to have some meaning to you, you know, because the company's a company and companies go bankrupt all the time and they will fire you and nobody really cares about it. But you got to take care of yourself first. I think it's Susie, Susie Allman or whatever her name is. She said all the time, you got to do what's right for you first before you do what's right for your money. So take care of yourself first. You know, the big thing is not like, oh, I want some fancy cheese, some avocado, some Starbucks. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about financial wealth, financial freedom, and building a better future for yourself. So it's not about your debt collectors or about your employer. It's about what is going to be right for me. That's the thing. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified. If you want to call me and talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, well, join me on my third channel called Ask Me Bryson, where I post it every single day. Link down below. Subscribe over there. On top of that, also, if you guys want to basically watch more content, here's a video right here. Click my face right here. On top of that, if you want to DM me, DM me right here on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. See you guys tomorrow. And as always, peace. Out. Turtle Squad, out.